Okay. These are uh, actual letters from the home viewers. Every Friday night, we set aside a couple of minutes to respond to our, our mail. Here we go. Letter number one. Dear Dave, my wife Karen and I are planning a visit to New York City soon. What can we do for a good time? Jean Harris, uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Well, dang, I'm sorry you're going to miss that bunting camel. That would have been great. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I'm telling you, if you're coming in the next couple of weeks, you couldn't be in New York City at a better time. Autumn in New York is just absolutely my favorite time. It's so beautiful here. I mean, you get these beautiful greens of the spring and summer turning into a blend of reds and, and yellows and even purples, and, and that's just the hot dogs of the season. <laughs> <laughs> this ladies and gentlemen, that is great A comedy right wow. there. Uh, hey Dave, uh, number two begins, I bought that new CD you have out. What do I do with it now? David uh, Reiniger, <laughs> Herndon, Virginia. Viewers is extra smart, ain't they? Uh, he's talking about a collection of uh, music from the, uh, the show right here, and uh, obviously he's just fooling around. But Dave, uh, do what I do, uh, unwrap it. You know, that shouldn't take you more than a day and a half. <laughs> Uh, and then play it, and if you ever get tired of the CD, which, which you might after a very long time, I believe there's more good news because our announcer, our very own Alan Coulter, I'm told now, Alan, you have a, you have a CD, is that right? Alan Coulter has a CD. Good that's, for you, that's Alan. That's right there. Yeah. It, it's called Alan Coulter's Songs for Making Sweet Love. <laughs> 147 sultry tunes available for the first time on one CD, and you'll hear such tintillating tunes as... The bass line from Seinfeld. <laughs> Shave and a haircut. A doorbell. <laughs> and who could forget... Alan, excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't mean to interrupt your little infomercial yes, there. Yes, Dave? Uh, but it seems to me like all of the uh, songs on your CD are kind of short. I know, Dave. <laughs> Alan Coulter, ladies and gentlemen. Letter number three. Dear Dave, what do you do when you get off work? Cordially, William B. Jones. That's Bill Jones, Chicago, Illinois. What do you do when you get off work? Uh, that's a pretty good question. And, uh, well, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. As soon as the show is uh, finished, I, I, I do the same thing every darn night. Okay, that's the show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Good night, everybody. This is uh, like the fake beer commercial, right? You know, in 18 years, we've never done the fake beer commercial. And you get the, the fake late show beer, and the Biff's going to pour it down his pants. And so, you know, I think this is probably an excellent time to retire. Thank you very much. It's been a lot of fun. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy. Finish up the fake beer. Goodbye. Thanks, Biff. Goodbye, everybody. Dave, Dave, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, hi, Biff. Hi. That's it? You leaving just like that? Yeah, I think so. You realize that if you quit, uh -huh. you're giving up that enormous salary they pay you. Good time! Letter, uh, letter number four. Dear Dave, who is your favorite guest of all time? Matt McGowan, uh, Bartlesville, Oklahoma. This is uh, a question we get uh, frequently, and I would have to say, you really can't do much better than, like, tonight's show. It's a pretty good lineup. We have uh, Steve Martin. We have uh, Cokie, yeah. We have uh, Cokie Roberts. Uh, we have uh, Dr. John. Uh, but as it turns out, that, that's not all. We have a little surprise for you. 
Another one of my favorite guests is actually here tonight, and he has agreed to participate in a very, very popular segment of this show. It's a little something we call off-screen celebrity cameo. So now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a warm welcome to tonight's off-screen celebrity. Here he is. Yeah. 